the Digital Office does ICD-10 the right way. Did you know that many software packages make you type in the ICD-10 codes? Did you also know there's 67,000 and some odd ICD-10 codes? Did you know many software packages don't even convert your ICD-9s to ICD-10s? Let's take a look and see how the digital office does it right. I'm going to go into our patient's claim file or case and we're going to take a look at their diagnoses. You'll see their ICD-9s up here and here I've already started to convert to ICD-10s but let's take a look at the converter. I click on hip pain and look at this. Here is what they call the gem which is the general equivalence mapping and that's what the government gives us. But what does it return? Pain in unspecified hip. If you're lucky enough for your software company to at least convert it to here, well, that's actually pretty good. However, if you will look down below, the digital office is smart enough to come back and basically do a reverse book lookup after going through the gem to show you that it could be pain in the right hip, pain in the left hip, or pain in unspecified hip. This can save you hours and hours and hours of doctor time every single month. For more tips on how the digital office does it right, get a hold of one of our software consultants and they can take you through a live demonstration. Thank you for your time.